here you see is generated using SOLIDWORKS toolbox to create compound gear you must know how to copy the gear profile and paste on the other gear we will co cover copy entity in future video for today's lesson I will be briefly I will briefly explain the step to create the model sketch the profile on the right plane extrude mid plane 8mm so so you are you are going to you are going to create this profile and then you extrude mid plane 80, 80mm So you create another profile on this space here and then you extrude cut through all. Next you create on the front plane and then you sketch this this uh this rectangle and extrude mid plane hundred mm after that you create on this space the uh, a sketch 40 by 20 extra cut through all and finally you sketch the circle on the top face and extrude 30 mm okay, let's start our sketch let me go to window Let me go to the window part. So we are going to create a sketch on the front plane. Click front sketch. So I'm creating a center rectangle. I'm creating another rectangle. I change this line to construction by clicking construction. Okay, let's dimension it. This one is 30. This one is 60. This side is 42 This side is 15 15 So I can use the shortcut method Bring my cursor on the line I click the center point Press control Wait for a center point to come out. Click. Coincident. Okay, let's close the profile by drawing the line. You notice that now the sketch is shaded. It means that the sketch is a closed profile. Now the sketch is fully defined. Let's get out of the sketch and extrude mid plane. So the distance is 80 mm here. So we finish one step. Next, we are going to create on this space 
these two sketches. Number two. Let's draw a construction center line. I mentioned it. Oh, yes, a fifteen. So we need to draw the fifty two mm line. So we draw outside and then bring it in. I mentioned. 52 So the longer me method is used in relation Right click Select me point Right click on this line Select me point Consider Okay let's Just form the Papa Now shade it. Go to line. Do I think this line is not not correct? Click delete. Yes, line. Make sure it is coincident. Because this this line it I didn't coincident with the line there. Yes, line, command, click. Okay, now the sketch is fully defined. Let's see the sketch. Feature. Let's look at. We still cut through all. Okay. Okay, the next thing is that we are going to draw this this rectangle here on the front plane. That's this this portion here. Front sketch. Number two. Okay, draw a rectangle Dimension it thirty by twenty eight here. Yeah, we are going to bring this sketch inside so you can use a relation right click select me point right click select me point consider as a sketch it's to boss base mid plane Eighty plus ten plus ten hundred, so change to hundred.
Okay, the next step is we are going to draw another rectangle on this space. Click sketch. Okay, draw a rectangle. Let's dimension it. What the by twenty? Okay, let's bring the the sketch into the model using evolution. Right click, select me point. Right click, select me point. Consider. I see the sketch. We can do a stroke cut through all. So now we are left with the last part. You draw a circle on this on this face. Click sketch. Okay, draw a circle. Dimension. This one supposed to be thirty. Let's see the sketch. Picture, a sub boss base, and the distance is thirty. So our model is completed. Thanks for watching the video.